work hard trust god and just really like just keep him first like keep him first in your life <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It is Michelle here. If you are new here, hey, welcome. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and join this family here. We are fun over here. Oh my goodness, guys. I am so excited to film today's video. As you can see from the title, God has done it again. Like, I am just in awe and in complete amazement at my life because never would I have imagined that I would be here a year ago, two years ago, and I'm just so thankful so grateful to God because I know that it was not my doing. I'm just in complete awe. I'm currently sitting um, in my bank. I just got my um, down payment. So I'm about to head over to my friend's house so that she can come with me to the dealership so that I can drive the car out of the lot. Um, I'm taking this car back to my parents' house and I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to go pick up my brand new car. As I'm driving, I'm just gonna talk to you guys and just do a little chit chat of what's about to happen and where my car journey started from. So I'm just so excited and just so happy. Go ahead and give this your thumbs up because blessings are not too far away. As you celebrate me, I pray that God celebrates you very, very soon. But yes, guys, let us head over to my friend's house and yeah, I'm just gonna talk to you guys while I drive. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am currently driving to my house so that my friend can pick me up so, so I'm currently sitting in my first ever car, you guys. I bought this car in 2015. It was a brand new 2015 Nissan Sentra. Okay, so I've had the I've had the car that I'm sitting in right now for eight years. It's paid off and everything. It's been paid off because I do not like that. Shout out to Dave Ramsey. But yeah, like I bought this car brand new and I'm just a huge fan of brand new cars. I just grew up seeing like my family, my parents. Um, up until recently, you know, you know, really get sick of having old cars because those cars would like always break down, you know, it would need a jump here, it would just be, it was just a lot. Um, and, I, and I told myself that I just wanted a brand new car because I just didn't want to deal with all the hassle that, you know, car breakdowns come with. Not to say that a brand new car won't give me issues, but on a scale, on the grand scheme of things, like you're safer getting a brand new car because it's fresh and it's new. Um, so that's why I decided to get my Nissan Sentra back in 2015 and I've literally loved this car ever since it has been good to me Maya Maya has been good to me y'all she has been good to me she's held it down for eight long years and I feel like it's just time for me to move on and progress onto other things my Nissan has been really great to me and I love her I'm not selling this car um, I'm most likely going to be sending this to Ghana because my dad wants it in Ghana um, as like a family car when we do go back home um, probably gonna end up shipping this car to Ghana and he's gonna handle all that cuz yeah I just cannot wait to head over to Land Rover to pick up my uh, brand new uh, Range Rover doll I'm like I just cannot even I cannot believe that like I'm saying <gasps> my Range Rover just passed me if this ain't a sign I don't even know I've literally been seeing so many of them Oh God, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm like above the moon happy. Like I just, I'm on like cloud nine right now. Even though I have not seen my car yet. It's just, it was a long time coming. And prior to me getting that car, you guys, I did my due diligence. I didn't just go straight to Land Rover. I looked at Mercedes too. So I was like, Michelle, here, here you are, you know, by the grace of God, you have the resource to afford the kind of car that you actually want. So do your due diligence. Don't just settle for a Range Rover because you want a Range Rover. Like try to see what Mercedes can will offer. So I end up like visiting Mercedes. I'm gonna try and find clips and place them in here, guys. Checking in guys, so today we are in the C-Class 300 um, Mercedes. I don't know which luxury car to get. I was so stuck on my range, but I was like, Michelle, just do your due diligence. I don't want you to make a, a choice that you'll regret. So I was like, let me give Mercedes a chance because I've always also liked Mercedes. So right now I'm checking out the C300 and it's nice this is the one with the black interior i'm gonna also check out the one with the lighter interior 
but this is very nice this is very nice it also has like a panoramic rooftop which is mainly why i like the range um but this is really nice it's so comfortable so luxe in here and i just want to thank god for the ability to even do this and have options like god is too good god is too good <laughs> showed you guys super super nice <laughs> So we might stick around for that, but we'll catch you guys later. You are A to Z and everything in between. No, I'm my mama, I'm my soul. Now you be the most high key. A to Z, K. Just made it to Land Rover, guys. <laughs> I'm excited. I had to put on the white coat to let them know I'm serious, okay? I'm not no baby girl out here. We're leaving business. Y'all need to see this car, it's everything. I am so, 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 so proud of Michelle. I am just so awesome, I'm like, that's my girl. <laughs>
Cry good tonight. <laughs> I'm like an That's all Jesus. So it's wireless Apple CarPlay now and Android Auto. So there you go. It's just happened. Awesome. Oh wow! Yeah. So then, charging. You just leave your phone here, and then you move. It, you uh, um, answer your calls and texts from here, and you can also press Siri to tell it what to do. It's charging. Yep. This is so good. Yeah. These are your three uh, most used buttons right here. Mm -hmm. These are your three apps, and then you can go uh, press here, and then it's got your whole app store in there too. Mm -hmm. Um. And then if you wanted, that's your Bluetooth, but since you're using this, maybe you just go through Apple Music, you know? Mm -hmm. You do have a backup navigation that's built into the car. You don't have to use the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay. This has satellite navigation because you did get the um, Wi-Fi package and XM. So you have uh, 
basically this if your ways fails like you don't have phone service this should still have service okay. yep. so, um, and I really like it because it's a 3d map so nice. there you can actually zoom in on like buildings the building. in downtown it will show them like once you plug in your address then it doesn't can I store my home you can checking in today is sunday a couple days later after purchasing the car um i just had to really like process everything i just cannot believe that i am here but god has been too good god has been too faithful um i've just been in awe and just like praising and worshiping and just thanking him but um let's get into the detail of this car okay i actually bought my car back in march um i bought it in march i'm gonna post um the day i actually got the car this is the day i actually went and bought the car it was such a big day and he told me it was actually gonna get here like around june this is a custom built car by the way i went on the land rover website i knew the model and the make i wanted and then i just added a few touches like the exterior with the black range rover sign i had to customize that the black little like detailing on the exterior um choosing my panoramic roof um, either choosing this one or the um, the half the one that actually opens but I wanted this I just wanted the one that opens up so I chose it and it added a couple more details I initially wanted my leather seats to be like this like maroon red color and then the the headline in here would be black like so it'd be like black on red but then like black on maroon brownish but they told me that they don't make they don't have that leather anymore they don't make that leather anymore so um i opted out of that and went with my black leather seats and actually guys if i didn't mention this already this is a 2023 car so i can't believe i'm driving a 2023 car in 2022 july okay this is so early but this is a 2023 range rover evogue um because they said they didn't have any more of the 2022s when i went and it was only a couple extra thousand so i was like you know what let's just do it let's just get uh, the 2023 car so that's what i got and the process was seamless the crazy thing is my first ever car that i told you guys about um maya i needed a cosign for her when i first bought it at the age of 19 my little my little fast self i needed a cosign but like this time around everything was me like i was like god look how far you brought me i am actually grown i'm mature i don't need no co-signer i can afford this like what <laughs> i also ended up putting a down payment on the car because i didn't i just i was like why not just pay a, a chunk of it now um so i ended up doing that and um, i went to my bank i have a credit union that i'm with so i got the car through my credit union and not the actual car dealership because yeah they'd be funny i trust my bank more than i trust them i drove off with my brand new car and i have been loving it so far um i'm just really still taking it all in but i'm just so grateful that god saw it fit that i would own one of these babies i just see it as a leap like spiritually like i have grown that's how i see it like i think this is just like a physical manifestation of what's occurring like spiritually just because like you know we're breaking generational curses like we're breaking we're we're doing things different than our parents did you know like you know god has favored us enough for us to be able to do this especially like growing up here if you guys didn't know i am from ghana if you're from ghana please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me but yeah i am from ghana originally and like life in ghana is not like this the life i was living in ghana as a kid was nothing like this like i did not grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth and maybe maybe one day i will take you guys back there and just share like my journey with you but if somebody had told me when i was six years old seven years old that i would be here in america doing this i would i would i, I don't know if i would have believed them because i'm six years old but i just never pictured this um for myself and i'm just so thankful that god 
so I fit to bring this into my life. I just really pray that this video motivates you to work hard, trust God, and just really like just keep him first. Like keep him first in your life. And there are moments in where, you know, I drift off, but like I come right back because the peace that God gives me, like nothing can buy. And it's not the material things, like it's internal, like an intrinsic value that having a relationship with God gives me. But yes guys i am about to head into church i'm actually at church right now I'm about to go usher because i'm an usher and i'm just so glad i'm here like god is good and i thank you guys so much for watching my car buying process and just experiencing this with me i pray that there's more milestones for us to experience together and always remember that god is good i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye